So let's go down to Roy Maver to introduce the final six. We are ready now, ladies and gentlemen, for the final of the 1984 World's Professional Modern Ballroom Dance Championships. Will you welcome to the floor, please, our finalists. Number 105 from West Germany, Werner and Ingrid Führer. From Japan, number 108, Iso and Anna Nakagawa. From United Kingdom, number 114, Michael and Vicky Barr. From Denmark, number 120, Hans and Anne Laxholm. From Japan, number 125, Tommy and Cherry Sakramoto. And from the United Kingdom, number 131, Stephen Hillier and Lindsay Tate. May we have the waltz, please? really hold the stone play chant. Well, yes. What is the dominance? Why, why are they always rated the best? Well, Juliet, we must re remember the English really developed this style of international competitive dancing. Uh, the, although these dances were originated in different countries, it was the British group of teachers who had the foresight to standardize the syllabus and to develop a certain look, which of course is traditionally British. Right. And they are so wonderful at it. There's, there's no, no taking that away from them. Are better dancers there, do you think, John? Better coaches, maybe? I think they have a combination of the two. The, 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 uh, the youngsters begin training in ballroom dancing at an early age in uh, Great Britain. And for that reason, they keep them going at it over a longer period of time. Plus, they have very good teachers and coaches. Second dance for tango. But you know, I think it's like anything. The more competitions you have, the more competitors you have, the better you become. And I think that in the United States, just by having this competition, we're going to get progressively better and better Absolutely. at it. Absolutely. The British have been dancing, this style of dancing, in a competitive form since the uh, early 30s. The United States, on the other hand, only developed the style of dancing. Oh, there we see the Laxholms from Denmark. And here are Stephen Hillier and Lindsay Tate from Great Britain. This is the German couple, Werner and Ingrid Führer, who have always ranked in the top six for the last few, few years. Now, most of these people, um, do they teach themselves? Do they coach? They have coaches who work with them. They Even though they them. are the top-ranking professionals, they... It's like having that other pair of eyes looking exactly at you. Exactly right. Someone else who is their coach will and see for And do they falling. put their own routines together, John? Some do, but the majority work with coaches who create new material for them. Uh, Stephen Hillier and Lindsay Tate are the second British couple and the last year won the United States Open Championships. style of this Japanese couple, number They're 125. Yes, I do too, very much. The Sakura are such an elegant couple. Now, in 
Japan is this very big? Very big, extremely big. It's, it's a kind of news to them as well, isn't it? Let's see, yes, to, to 15 years or so. The Japanese have developed their standards so well and are to really be congratulated. They've surpassed most other countries in the uh, ballroom in Latin areas in their development over a short period of time. And now the Foxtrot. I think if we watch the world, the current world champions, you'll see why they've attained that high position. Michael and Vicky Barr have been dancing since they were juniors. Uh, I don't know exactly how many years, but I know they started dancing together as youngsters and went through the amateur ranks, were world amateur dance champions, and now have captured the professional title. Just watch the way they flow around that floor. does make a difference how long you have worked with someone. They are so sensitive to exactly. each other's you moves. You know exactly what your partner's going to do. You can uh, tell, she can tell when he wants to manipulate her any which way. Exactly. And she's free and easy to go with him. Oops, Oops dear. There's one of the... One of the unfortunate yes. collisions that doesn't often happen. You know when it's when it's likely to happen when the man is moving backwards. Yes. And another man is moving backwards that. at the same time. Because that's when it they're is likely. Because the man to... who manipulates the woman in that's right. dancing. That's right. Because I noticed before when he was moving forward, he would always steer her clear of anyone around. Very nice. A quick step, please. Step is always the favorite oh, with I the love audience. It. I just love it. Because of the lively uh, tempo of the music. And this Danish couple, Hans and Ann Laxholm from Denmark, they are so good at the quick step. I've seen that once before they uh, defeated the Hilliers. And yes. uh, when was that? Two years ago. That was two years ago, right. When they were, I believe, when they were amateurs, just before turning professional. Now, most of these people, have they been professional for a long time, John? Uh, most of them have, yes. Uh, Hilliers, uh, Hillier and Tate were amateur champions, and so were the Laxholms. But all the others uh, have been professionals for many years. How about that? dance, the Viennese Waltz. There's Michael and Vicky Barr. I think to myself, as soon as I get back to L.A., I'm going to start taking lessons. <laughs> <laughs> well, it we looks might... so wonderful. It really is. We might get the world champions to, to give you a lesson while we're here. <laughs> they make it look so effortless, don't they? Sure world Professional Modern Dance Championship here in New York City. Let's have a wonderful round of applause for our couples as they leave the floor.
Professional Dance Championship.